Welcome to my community of CurseForge, and today I am going to be reviewing and doing a tutorial on a mod called the Let's Do Beach Party or Beach Party Mod. So this is the same creator that made the Let's Do Wine Mod or the Vinery Mod for Fabric, and you got to give him a lot of credit since he did put a lot of work into these mods. Yeah, I highly recommend giving him some respect here and all his other creators. And um, it's basically a mod that resembles Summer, the beach. Basically, it's like a beach biome that's been added into the game. So if you do spawn in your world, you will see a beach. You will see palm trees, sea stars, sand waves, everything else that resembles beach, summertime, vacation. Because, I mean, it's May right now and almost June and July. So we're literally near where the summer months is actually coming ahead. And um, you do have some, you know, overviews of um, new mobs that's been added, like a pelican. It's literally like a bird, if you guys know what a, a pelican is, like the New Orleans pelicans or something. I would say in a basketball team, for example. But you get the gist, and they just add everything that resembles the beach, summer, and paradise. Here is a little section here that actually tells you like how to craft cocktails or just some um, fundamental questions, basically basically like the main questions on how to craft certain things and do certain things. It says right here by word, but I just know that people are not gonna get it because even if you type it in word, people still can't put the context uh, clues together just to formulate like a um, resolution. So it's like I have to show you guys how to craft these things and then tell it. Because if I tell you guys, some of you guys will get the gist, but based on me having a speech impediment or a lack of social skills, I may have to actually show you guys basically step by step on how to do it. So that's why I'm doing a review slash tutorial on the Let's Do Beach Party mod. And this mod does require architecture. So if you um, download architecture, it means you have to use REI, JEI, or NEI, whatever um, type of mod that actually shows you like tool tips or crafting recipes. But I highly encourage to download um, REI and JEI just in case um, you don't know how to craft or whatever reason it is. Because even though I will show you in the video, but sometimes it can change for certain people. And the mod I'm going to be reviewing it for is for Fabric, since um, I'm pretty much familiar with Fabric instead of Forge. Also, I will include the download to um, installing Polymorph 2, just in case this mod does conflict with other mods, since um, I did see that some crafting recipes don't make sense. And if you do um, install Polymorph, it will help you a little bit, you know, just, you know, categorizing the um, crafting recipes so they won't become confusing where you guys are questioning, I craft this, craft this thing similarly. However, it's giving me this. So that's why I'm going to include that in the description. So I'm going to include Architecture, REI, JEI, and Polymorph in the description just for crafting recipes. Also, they do have a Discord channel, and I will put that in the description too if you want to go just to give them suggestions or just go for help assistance or tech support. Because, you know, even though I am doing a tutorial and I'm reviewing the mod, but I am not the mod creator itself or one of their developers. All I'm here to do is just educate. While these guys mostly can help you with the technicals, the technicalities, um, the exploits, the bugs, and all that stuff. So I recommend going there just to seek help. And if you guys comment here, it's still fine, but you don't have to make an account. But you could, you could if you want, just to, you know, get a quick answer. But I highly recommend going to Discord since they're mostly active there than here. And this mod is for 1.19.2. So right now it's going to be for this version and you can download either for Forge or for Fabric. And I already downloaded this for Fabric and I probably already, uh, probably already show you guys how to install mods. I mean, it should be a common practice. Like in, in order to install a mod, you just need to do um, app data percent and go on with that because I mean... I can show you guys step by step, but I mean, I highly recommend like watching another channel actually showing you guys how to download mods because it should be a common practice for everyone or it should be mandatory if you guys ever want to install a mod. But um, if I do upload this video and there's like another version that just suddenly happens, I can't 
just, you know, make another video on it since I already made it. But if someone else can make it too, then that would be good. They might cover the similar things, but they might cover like a new item or show off that this item actually does work or whatever. But right now, this mod is still new since it's been um, uploaded like a week ago. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to upload whatever I can right now. And if anything changes, then I highly recommend checking out another person's video just for some answers. Yeah, you can actually see me just chilling in my chair with my sunglasses on with my cocktail. Oh, it got to rain. That's utterly sad. But this is the beach. <sighs> that was so unexpected. Yep, so I have loaded up my world and I'm just chilling in my chair with my cocktail, with some beach towels, with sunglasses. I mean, look at the sunglasses. They look pretty dope and it kind of like overlay my regular sunglasses. And we just got the nice sun. This is what you call Sunday Paradise. And I am going to be reviewing this mod. So right here we have the blocks. So we mostly have palm wood, palm wood, um, sand waves and sand slabs. We have um, the beach towel that is right over there. And we have palm torches, the short ones and the tall ones. You do have a little bit of aesthetic blocks just to make everything look a little more um, tropical and more exotic if you you know plan on making some um, summertime builds for like summer purposes or thumbnails or whatever your ideas are but i just like how you got the beach grass and the little details that just makes it quite cool so i'm just going to go ahead and look in the chest and when you see here you see that you have a block um it's not really a block but it's a palm sapling and in order to get the palm sapling, you just get it from palm trees. And if you look under the palm trees, you have coconuts. The coconuts are very much harvestable. So I'm just going to go ahead and harvest some coconuts. You can just pick them up like that. That's all you got to do. Um, you can't place them back on there because, well, that's how they grow. And you can actually throw the coconuts. So, for example, if you have a... Um, a mob or entity you can literally just throw it at it so i could just throw it at a tree or at a solid block because if you look at the description it says throw against a solid block to open oh okay that kind of just placed it uh, did it just placed it that's kind of rare very rare something that never happened before so when you have this right you could throw it at a block that's what's supposed to happen and you get open coconut that gives you some food. So, yeah, that was kind of a first timer for me. You can actually place coconuts as decorations. Okay, so we have returned to the blocks. So we have the palm beam. In order to craft the palm beam, all you just need is two stripped palm logs. To get the palm floorboard, all you just need is two palm slabs and the two palm planks. To get the tiki cabinet, all you just need is four palm planks and four palm slabs because the tiki cabinet is right here and it's just a chest. However, you just get two rows instead of the extra rows. So this is pretty much like a mini cabinet minus one row that's being taken away. Then you have the sand waves. In order to get sand waves, you have to be close to an ocean biome. So if you push F3 like this, we're actually on the beach. So if you're on the beach, you'll actually see it in the water. So you see how the textures look different, right? They only apply to beach biomes. Nowhere else, only beach biomes. And we can craft sand slabs. In order to craft a sand slab, all you just need is three pieces of sand and just put it like this. Like you make any other slab and you just get the quantity of six slabs. And the beach towel, all you just need is six pieces of wool and you get the quantity of two beach towels. And you can just place them down. Um, apparently you can't change the colors on them yet, so their default is going to be blue. Same goes for those chairs that I'm going to be reviewing. So, most of the stuff is still a work in progress, meaning everything is not going to guarantee work right off the bat. But, um, there's still going to be some tweaks and adjustments later on when, um, when I actually tell the owner or the creator of the mod about this. Now, what we have here is the different types of sand. So, you see this sand right here. 
This is called sand, but sea stars. So you can actually see that these look like decoration blocks, right? However, they could also be used as to find treasures. So if you harvest, for example, the sand with the sea stars, these are the drops. So actually, when you mine this, you get a seashell. And when you right click the seashell, you get um, raw muscle meat, in which that's by default. And these are the treasures that you go to obtain just by mining them. And same goes for the sand that is polluted. And what you get here is a message in a bottle. So when you get a message in a bottle, you get the default paper and a glass bottle. But there's a chance to get an ocean explorer map. The field map means a treasure map. You get a woodland explorer map and an empty map just to personalize your map. So it's quite cool that you can actually get treasures just by mining sand. But keep an eye out for this stuff because it could be useful for your adventure. And I'm just going to go ahead and just show you guys. So this is the one with the sea stars and the one with the uh, polluted sand. So uh, when I mine this, this is what you get. A seashell. This is what you get by default. And for the polluted, this is what you get. A message in a bottle. So if I right click, you get um, raw muscle meat in which you can uh, cook it. And you get lapis lazuli, meaning any rich uh, material that you're going to get from it. So you can easily find diamonds, but you just got to mine a good quantity of them. And this is a message in the bottle in which it just gave you some paper and a glass bottle. But there is a chance. So most of the stuff have chances. So everything is not going to be guaranteed that you're going to get a map unless you want to make configurations in the config file. Now what we have here is the main stuffs here or known as the main fundamentals of the mod. So you have the radio, the mini fridge, the tiki bar, the sand buckets. Pretty much this is like the main stuff here. So um, you got the tiki bar used for mixing cocktails and drinks. So in order to make the tiki bar, all you just need is seven palm planks that are crafted like this. To make the mini fridge, all you just need is five iron ingots and a redstone dust. And to make the radio, all you just need is two note blocks and an overgrown disc. And what's cool is you can actually use this overgrown disc um, as a um, record player just for a regular jukebox. So that's quite cool. So for the mini fridge, it says use for crafting ice cream and popsicles. This one says right click to turn it off, mouse wheel up and down to switch radio stations. That's kind of like a nice feat. And to make the sand bucket, um, for actually a sand bucket itself, all you just need is five uh, dried kelps and one wooden shovel. I'm really getting sick and tired of this raining. Like what's up with the bullshit rain? We're, try we're trying to help people here and it's just keep raining. I think that's quite the um, negative sides of going to a beach. It literally rains. So what I was saying is this is how you craft the sand buckets. And I got to show you guys in the demonstration world. And same goes for this one. I did forget to put this one in my world, but I can show you right now. So this is the tiki, par uh, tiki bar. You can actually make different types of cocktails and breweries. And see, they got these little tabs here that you can make your uh, drink. It's quite, it's quite useful, very useful that they actually have their own tool tips. So like little stuff like this, it actually has their own tool tips. So I got to give them credit for that instead of actually going through the whole uh, uh, randomly enough items mod process. So you can still use it, but I will still include the um, mod in the description if you guys are unsure about the crafting recipes. And what you have here are the sand buckets. So if I show you guys how to do them. Um, you can literally just, uh, you can empty sand and pick up sand. See, look, you can actually pick up sand and which what happens is you're just going to put a dent for whatever reason and you can actually place it down. You can mine it back up like that. You can build. Look at this. You can actually make a pretty cool design if you want. So if I just keep mining up the sand and do it like this, oh boy, you'll definitely be killing some time and just add nice decorations. And there's another thing. You can also have people that can literally just do this. You can literally just step on it and just destroy the whole sand pile. I mean, why would anyone want to do that? And you can actually take pieces off if you want to. Pretty creative, don't you think? Now, what we have here is the foods. So, these are all your foods that you get within this mod. So, you have the raw muscle that I showed you earlier. 
and you could actually get it cooked. And there is raw pelican meat because that's the uh, a new mob that I want to show you guys because that's the new mob over there, that little duck thing right there. So that's the pelican. You got the coconuts. You can throw coconuts. You can eat coconuts. You can make a coconut cocktail. Um, apparently, I can't use R because, well, um, sometimes roughing enough items is probably not rendered for this mod yet because it's still a work in progress. But I see what the mod creator tried to do is make us use the items over there as the tool tips instead of actually using roughly enough items because it will become a pain. And I remember he did state it in the um, overview of the mod on how to make cocktails. So if you guys actually read the text there, you'll see more information on how to do it because it might be written in his, in his writing. And also what's interesting too is if you actually make stuff like this, you can actually can place them. All you just gotta do is shift and right click just for it to be placed as decoration. So for example, this coconut cocktail, look at that. You can actually place it as a little decoration. I mean, I like um, drinking coconut milk and actually eating it because it's pretty delicious. And you have different cock uh, cocktails like the sweet berry, the cocoa cocktail, the pumpkin cocktail, honey cocktail, you name it. Even ice cream. You can also use ice cream for the uh, mini fridge to make some different types of ice cream. And it says never melt, always cold and refreshing, no expense was spared. So you can also eat ice cream. So yeah, that's pretty much like a little um, decent and cute mod because it's just basically summertime. Now what we have here are the chairs, the benches, and mostly the furniture. So what we have here is the lounge chair, um, the chair, um, table, deck chair, hammock, beach chair, and the tiki stool. So to make the lounge chair, all you just need is two uh, wools, two sticks, and palm planks. The chair, you just need four palm slabs. I mean, not four palm slabs, five palm slabs, one palm plank, and two sticks. To make it the table, all you just need is palm planks, um, three palm slabs and two sticks. To make the deck chair, two wool, four palm planks. Um, the hammock, you just need four palm planks, three wool. And to make the beach chair, all you just need is five sticks, one uh, wool, and three palm planks. Okay, it's a lot here. And you have the stool that's literally a piece of wool, stick, and palm planks. And I'm really getting tired whenever it rains. Like, it's just becoming a consistent thing. Like, does it have to rain consistently on the beach? I mean, I get it. I like the little reflection here, but I get why it rains, but it's just unnecessary. And you can actually um, sit on these chairs, too. Like, you can actually just sit on the chairs. You can actually make a custom table. You can sit in here. You can actually house two of your friends in here. You can lay in the hammock. But I remember when you uh, have a hammock, there's something about it. It gives you a little message. Okay, I destroyed the hammock. I mean, that's kind of a oofy. So if I have the hammock right and I place it, the, the block has functions that are not fully implemented. Stay tuned. Still a work in progress. The little tiki stool. A little stool looks pretty weird. It looked like I'm going to... Um, Crush the chair with my um, weight. But yeah, that's pretty much decent. It's just everything is a work in progress. So it's not guaranteed that everything is going to work. And I really like these shades, man. Like, I'm serious. I wish I could actually copy these shades and put them on my glasses, but I just don't know how. So we are here at the armor or the weapons, basically mostly the geared stuff. So we have basically all the summer, you know, attire here. And we have the rubber rings. So, I remember I read off the overview. You cannot get them through crafting. You actually have to find them through dungeons or basically randomized chests. So, anything that requires looking for rare stuff, you get the gist. There's literally no way of saying how since it's literally just going to a dungeon. Or just finding stuff that's located in places that, you know, diamonds and emeralds are located in chests. But... They also do provide perks. So if you wear this as a set, you get Dolphin's Grace and Water Breathing. So it's pretty much dope. So you can actually see how the text is showing a little green at my swimwear helmet because the glasses are actually part of the swimwear. So if I wear the um, wings, trunks, and the Crocs, it gives you a full set. So 
let me just tell you how to craft them. So to craft the beach hat, all you just need is four pieces of wheat and white wool. To make the sunglasses, all you just need is two black stained panes and three sticks. To make the swim wings, four dried kelp. To make the um, swimming trunks, you just need five dried kelp and three strings. To make the bikini, uh, five dried kelp and one string. To make the crocs, four dried kelp. And you're probably saying, what the hell is this thing? But actually what it's called is a uh, pool noodle. And you can actually dye it too, but currently it's not dyeable because remember, it's still a work in progress. But you can actually do damage to um, things or players. You can actually damage players, mobs, or whatever. Hell, you can even enchant it if you want to. So this is technically the sword of this mod, the pool noodle. Now, last but not least, we have the pelican. Yeah, the pelican. Well, it's just, it just spawns in rivers or in beaches. That's all it, where it spawns in. It says it in the overview. They're pretty passive. They don't do much. They have limited am, uh, am animation because, well, that's how they are. But, yeah, that's going to pretty much conclude it for, you know, this portion here. Because I'm going to show you guys the demonstration of how or what the bugs are and stuff. So, this is pretty much like the whole review here for like the items and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the demonstrations. So what we have here is the mini fridge, right? See, you actually can see like more of the information here. Like you can actually make whatever. If I go to game mode creative, it will show you a lot of options. So um, yeah, see, you see this? If I turn this on and off, you can actually see all the different crafting stuffs. Like for example, you see that you can actually make stuff like the chocolate ice cream. It's literally cocoa beans and ice, um, sweet berries, ice. See, it requires ice. Like, seriously, you need ice. Like, just get some ice. Oh, boy. Yeah, literally, just get ice and just get a melon. Yep, and what happens? It actually works. You get to this. So that's how it works. Literally, you got to get an ice block just to do that. Like they said, they should have actually added it in the REI, but he wants you to use the integrated stuff because he wants you to depend less on it, in which I kind of get the gist of. But still, I will add randomly enough items, just enough items, or whatever it is, just to show you the guys the crafting recipes. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the tiki bar here. And same goes for the tiki bar. All you just need is ice. You just add ice to every recipe here. You have the integrated um, informations here, so it will help you out pretty much. And you just add ice and add the recipe up top here, and it will brew for you, and you get your drink. Now we have the radio. So if I play the radio, you guys will hear some music. You see this? That's pretty dope. And you got to use the scroll just to actually change the station. You see that? It's pretty dope. It gives you that vibe. And if you want to turn it off, just click it off. That's it. And for this part right here with the um, overgrown disc, it's the same thing from this uh, radio here that you use for the crafting. You just put it in like that and it just plays it as a default. So for if you make this, you get a lot more options than playing this. This just plays that one record player or that one music disc. So I highly recommend making the radio if I were you. So we have the swimwear here. Let me just put it all on because why not? Got the Crocs. And also sometimes that's a little bit of an issue with the sounds because it does sound like it sounds like a different audio track. But we're like far away from them, but you can hear them. That's weird. So if you wear this, yep, you get a full set and you wear it. You can breathe underwater for like, you know, for, for like a long time. Infinite water while underwater. Extremely agi extreme agility improvements while swimming. So yeah, we're pretty much in this water forever. This is pretty good for like traveling. Like definitely traveling, do like ocean monuments and whatnot. 
But I highly recommend, you know, add some protection enchantments to them just to actually have a stable set for, you know, underwater travel. So for this part, I probably didn't cover it in the beginning of the video because, well, there's a lot of blocks for you guys to go through and you guys can read the information tab on their main page because it actually did tell you some things on how to do it. So you have dried wheat and we have hay bale. So to get dried wheat, you have to um, let the hay bale sit in the warm biome. You got to be in the warm biome just for it to turn to this. So for dried wheat, all it's just used for is for decoration. You can't use it for food. It's only for decoration. While this here, you can use it for food. So these are pretty much the both differences between um, dried wheat and a hay bale. And you have palm torches and a short one. So there are crafting recipes for it because I did forget to tell you guys on how. So to craft the palm torch, all you just need is coal or charcoal and a bamboo. One bamboo. To make a um, palm tall torch, all you just need is two bamboo, coal or charcoal. It's pretty much the same crafting recipe as crafting a typical Minecraft torch, but you're just using bamboo. And if you look at it, it does have a little bit of a aesthetic to it instead of just you know using a stick but it's pretty much useful if you're low on torches so it's pretty much like a good alternative if you don't have like you know any sticks nearby and you just have a whole load of bamboo that you want to get rid of okay so what we have here are the pelicans they do drop regular eggs like chickens so they're pretty much a work in progress and if you want to breed them you can actually breed them together like this and what happens? You get another size pelican that's pretty big. There's no baby version yet. So that's quite buggy in its own way. Okay, you could actually grow it too. Like, it's pretty much like the same size pelican. So it wouldn't really matter. So if you even tried, you know, doing this, it's just going to be wasting your fish. So look, I'm literally just sitting here trying to... Oh, come on. You literally just wasted up all my fish just to upgrade you for a few seconds. Now he's a grown bird. He's a grown bird. Well, a man child. But, yeah, it's pretty much like a work in progress mod. Also, what we have here is the barkeeper, which is pretty interesting. Because you do have some villagers here that actually look pretty tame and cool. So this dude here is actually a barkeeper. You can actually trade him for ice, for emeralds. So if you have a whole ice inventory or ice farm, then you're good. Because there are many other villagers here. And yeah, that pretty much kind of summarizes summer. And look at me, I look like a goddamn clown. Like, look at me, I look like a reject, like a kid that just puts shit on and say, let's go to the beach. And you know that you look technically embarrassing. But anyways, I hope this tutorial does help some people. But you guys can always feel free to question down in the comment section if you guys are unsure. But if it's based on technicalities or bugs, then I highly uh, recommend joining their Discord. In which that's going to be in the description because they can give you a full help through or walk through, through it. Because, well... I'm pretty terrible at explaining stuff because I do have a speech impediment and lack in social skills. But I just hope that I do help some people. I mean, helping some people instead of helping no one. But anyways, see you guys next time on the next Minecraft adventure. Devi is out.